Hey fifth graders, my name is Mr. Rolla and I am the junior high counselor. Uh, I'm coming to you from my back porch today. I know each of you are at home during this quarantine and social distancing and all that good stuff, guys. I'm very sad that I didn't come to meet with you in person this year, um, but we're gonna make the best of it in this video right here. Um, today in this video, we're gonna talk about scheduling for your sixth grade year. I know you guys are excited to come to a new campus, maybe a little nervous, but that's okay. Um, Y'all are all in this together and, and we'll, we'll figure it out and get through it. All right, guys, um, I was planning to come to your campus to discuss scheduling uh, when we came back from spring break, but obviously we're at home, so we're gonna make the best of this. Um, what I would do is I'd give you this piece of paper, which on the Google form uh, you'll see a very similar version of this. Um, all it is is just a list of your required courses and then your elective choices. Um, you will have seven classes that you'll take and in addition to that seven classes you also have a study hall. Um, your required courses that you have to take is ELAR, Math, Science, Social Studies, which I know you guys are all familiar with that. Uh, those are classes that you do take in elementary. Um, you will also be taking a writing lab, which kind of goes hand in hand with the English language arts and reading. Um, and then you're required to take PE in sixth grade. Um, it's a little different than elementary. You will have to dress out and you'll have a locker and you'll have to keep up with all your stuff. And based on, you know, if you dress out or not and participation, that's how they'll, they'll do your grades in there. Um, they'll give you more information about what you need when you get there. Um, but I just want to kind of give you a little heads up. Uh, electives. You will have two choices. You have art or band. In sixth grade, we have two choices. In seventh grade, we'll have a little more. And then eighth grade, you have uh, even more choices. But as far as sixth grade, you get to choose between art or band. I know the McCarty's uh, came over and talked to you guys about band. And you, maybe you got to try out some instruments if that's something you were interested in. Um, and then art, obviously, you know, you learn different techniques and styles and different types of uh, utensils and being creative and all that good stuff in art. Um, by now, you probably know if you're interested in band or if you're interested in art, okay? So on the Google form, I want you and your parents to discuss which elective that you're going to take next year because you're going to be in it all year long. So really think about it and make sure that if it's band that you want to take, make sure that's something you can be in the entire year. All right, guys. Um, so like I said on the Google form, y'all talk about it and y'all select it and y'all submit that to me and I will um, I'll get that down and I'll make sure that you have the elective choice. Um, as far as honors classes goes, uh, your fifth grade teachers will recommend you. They base it off of your grades, your behavior, your attendance, typically the star test, which I know we're not taking star tests this year, um, but they can look at your previous test scores um, and recommend you for our honors classes in sixth grade. Uh, we only have two of them, which would be your English language arts and reading and then math. So those two honors classes in sixth grade. Um, I'm trying to make sure I'm not missing anything. Um, there will be a bell schedule. Uh, when the bell rings, you'll change classes. You don't change with, you, with each other. Your friend's not going to be in the same class with you all day long. Um, it'll be a little different. You'll have some independence, more responsibility. Uh, I think that the elementary teachers, they prepared you for this and you are ready for that little bit of extra freedom. But that little free, bit of freedom comes with big responsibility. All right, guys, um, if you or your parents have any questions, y'all shoot me an email. My email is lgerola at buenaisd.net. I'm happy to answer any questions and because I'm sure I missed something. Usually when I'm there with you guys, y'all have tons of questions about uh, sixth grade. So if you have any, just feel free to email me. All right, guys. Well, it was good talking with you. And like I said, just submit this form so I know um, how to make your schedule. And we will see you soon and talk to you soon. Bye, guys.